So today I'm talking about a P0441 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0441 code? Well, it's an evaporative emission system incorrect purge flow. And so what does this mean? Well, basically vehicles have what's called an EVAP system that takes all the gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them back up to the engine to be burnt off. This way they don't escape it to the atmosphere. But when you get a P0441 code, the computer's seeing some kind of problem inside of the system, mainly when the gas vapors are being purged into the engine. And there can be differences on how these systems are designed, where the components are located, different things like this. So if you do go to work on your vehicle, be sure to get a diagram for your particular vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. But the basics of how these systems work is that the gas vapors, they're gonna leave the gas tank. They're gonna go through a hose over to what's called a charcoal canister. And the charcoal canister is kind of like storage for the gas vapors. And located with the charcoal canister or separate is going to be what's called a vent valve. And the vent valve does different things. The computer can use it to test the system and different things like this. The gas vapors are going to leave the charcoal canister. They're going to go through a hose up into the engine compartment. And located somewhere around the engine is going to be what's called a purge valve. And the purge valve basically stays closed when the engine's not running. But then when the engine is running and it warms up, at some point the computer is going to send it a signal to open and the gas vapors are going to go into the engine to be burnt away. And so that's a real basic overview of what's going on inside the EVAP system. Like I said, be sure to get a diagram for your particular vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0441 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is a bad purge valve or the wiring going to the purge valve. If there's any kind of issue with the purge valve, if it's stuck closed or if it's stuck open, then that's going to cause problems. The purge valve is going to be located inside the engine compartment somewhere. Again, it can vary the exact location, but it'll be inside the engine compartment somewhere. And basically one hose is going to be going back to the charcoal canister and the gas vapor is going to be coming in on it. And then at some point when the engine's running, the computer is going to send a signal to the purge valve to open and the gas vapors are going to the engine to be burnt away. There's some different ways to go about testing the purge valve. These purge valves basically just open or shut to let the gas vapors go into the engine so they could get stuck closed or they could get stuck open. The purge valve is normally closed, so when there's no power going through it, you shouldn't be able to blow through it. But then when power is added to it, you should be able to blow through it. That'll mean that it's opening and closing. I made a video on how you go about testing the purge valve while it's still inside the vehicle without having to take it out. I'll put a link down below in the description if you need to check that out. But the first thing that could cause this problem is a bad purge valve. Also keep in mind that if there's anything wrong with the wiring going to the purge valve, like an open, a short, a blowing fuse, something like this, then that's going to cause problems. So you can go and check. Be sure you're getting voltage through the purge valve. Keep in mind that these can be on a fuse. Sometimes it can be very confusing on which fuse it is. Quite often it's combined with other things and things like this. So you might have to do a little research on your particular vehicle to know which fuse it is. But keep in mind that these can be on a fuse. The next thing that might cause this problem is there's some kind of issue going on with the charcoal canister. And the charcoal canister is going to be located up underneath the vehicle by the gas tank somewhere. And the charcoal canister has little charcoal pellets inside of it that help to filter the gas vapors. And if the charcoal canister becomes all clogged up for some reason, like it's really old or something like that, then the gas vapors won't be able to pass through it very well. And they won't be able to go up to the purge valve. There's some different ways to go about testing the charcoal canister. One method is that you feed air into the side where the gas vapors are going in. And then you check where they're coming out. And you be sure that air can pass through the charcoal canister and come out the other side. Like I said, there's some different ways to go about testing the charcoal canister. I made some videos on this too. I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad charcoal canister. And the next thing that could cause this is what's called a pressure sensor. And basically located inside of the EVAP system somewhere, can be located differently, is what's called a fuel tank pressure sensor, sometimes just an EVAP pressure sensor. And this is where the computer's getting all its information for what's going on inside the EVAP system. So if there's some kind of problem with the pressure sensor, it might just be sending bad information back to the computer. So the computer just thinks there's a problem when there isn't. Although usually if there is some kind of problem with the pressure sensor, you're going to get other codes. So for example, if you also got a P0453 code, evaporative emission system pressure sensor switch high, then it would be a good idea to go check out that pressure sensor, do some tests, be sure it's working correctly, because the next thing that could cause this is a bad pressure sensor. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of leak going on inside the system. And so the gas vapors aren't getting purged into the engine correctly. But if there is a leak, again, you'll usually get another code. So for example, if you also got a P0456 code, evaporative emission system leak detected, very small leak, then it would be a good idea to go test the system for a leak because the last thing on the list is going to be an EVAP leak. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0441 code.
If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. This video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.